And behind there is a palace, and that palace belonged to Godoy. Godoy was the prime minister under King Charles IV in early 1800s. He lived there in early 1800s. In this part of Madrid, there are many palaces from uh, important families and important people. Some of them were bought by the uh, town hall to be converted in different things. No? For example, across the square to the left-hand side by the corner, there is a palace, which is the Linares Palace, that belonged to a noble family. It was abandoned, and the town hall bought it and transformed it into the Casa de America. So that is for people coming from America, Spanish-speaking people, and that's for lectures and exhibitions, etc., and conferences, etc. This is the main street again, left and right, and the main post office in front of us, which is now the town hall, that building, by Antonio Palacios also. This one, this is so beautiful. They made a big restoration of the building to be transformed into the um, town hall. Of a painting, look at that beautiful painting to the right. Someone is painting that main post office. Some of these buildings are fantastic to the left hand side, beautiful buildings. And again, we see this Alcala Gate. Mm -hmm. So we are now going back slowly to, towards your hotel. Look at this gate built by Sabatini. Sabatini came from Italy. When Charles III came from Italy to Spain, many of the Italian artists came here with him to enlarge Madrid and to make Madrid as beautiful as other capitals in Europe. Uh, so Charles III loved the Italian artists. So many of the artists who came here on those days were from Italy. To the right hand side we have that Retiro Park. On Sundays it's always full of people. You see they even let the park here, which is forbidden on weekdays, but on Sundays they come park here to go to the park. And to the left hand side this nice church, it's a neo Byzantine church. And all of this area to the left again is Salamanca district. Look at the buildings, huh? nice iron work on the balconies in the old buildings and nice decoration. They are a little bit higher here. Huh? So originally the idea was maximum four floors, or three or four floors, and then they would way up a lot. To the right hand side we have this Neo Mudejar building to the right, which is now called Casa Arabe. Uh, so uh, it, that building was built as schools, and then uh, the town hall bought that building, and now it's Casa de Arabic, so they teach Arabic, and the exhibitions and were from uh, countries with uh, Arabic language. They can do their exhibitions, etc., in that house. Your hotel is more or less uh, behind these buildings to the left. Huh? Yes, you. Yes, it's just behind this building to the left. Huh? Goya Street, it's to the left-hand side. We have to go a little bit around to turn with the bus, but it's just behind this building to the left, Goya Street. Uh, so, very nice location. Now, what we do is we go back to the hotel. I hope you enjoy the city of Madrid. We just did a lot of the city. We now go to the hotel. We stop there for some minutes. Uh, well, Richard will tell you how many minutes. So if you need to use restrooms or like that. And then we go to Segovia. Uh, so in Segovia, what we do is uh, we go first to the lower part of the city, to the aqueduct. We will see that aqueduct, first of all, impressive Roman building uh, built 2,000 years ago by the Romans to bring, to supply water uh, to the city. And it's still standing after 2,000 years. Most impressive Roman aqueduct ever built by the Romans. And then we'll just walk on, on the main street of the city, go to Plaza Mayor. Once in Plaza Mayor, you will have your time on your own. So for lunch or to walk around the city, to shop, etc. And then we go to see the Alcazar.
uh, the al Qasa that was originally built by the Arabs and then used as a, a temporary residence by the royal family. And uh, well, the al Qasa was destroyed by fire, but then it was refurnished after that fire and we visit it inside. It's, uh, you know, the, uh, this, Walt Disney spent time in Segovia, so they say he uh, copied, or he just uh, see that uh, castle, that Alcazar, and use it for the Sleeping Beauty castle. So uh, I know there is a, another castle in Germany. They say it's that one there, but it's not. It's the one here in Segovia. <laughs> And uh, it's so it's very impressive. So it's going to be like a walking tour in Segovia, but it's not that hard because we go very slow like that, and then you'll have time on your own. And then we will be coming back at about uh, 4.30, uh, 5 o'clock to the city of Madrid. So then after that, you have plenty of time to enjoy things in Madrid. So I think it's a good opportunity to go to Segovia. We go all the way to a square to turn back and go back to the hotel. to take my it's running okay you getting the most of it you gotta be in it <laughs> after all you say the cook you have to taste the food <laughs> Yes, right. Okay, we just come back here. Uh, very near your hotel, there is the VIP, uh, the VIPs, that place, if you um, want to buy some uh, bottles of water. Uh, over there, they sell them. And don't forget to use restrooms. Uh, you have restrooms on the first floor of the hotel, I think. Uh, look at the nice flowers. Uh, they keep uh, changing flowers in Madrid. So uh, it depends in which month you come to the city of Madrid. You see different flowers in the fountains and in the main street. So sometimes you come and, and it's beautiful when it's full of tulips. All kinds of uh, different colors of tulips. Sometimes there are geraniums or pansés or petunias. Mm -hmm. And uh, the city looks different uh, depending on the flowers. But we we'll go back now to the left. Goya, this is Alcala. Then Goya Street to your hotel. Mira, esta es la escuela de turismo. Es, ahí he estudiado. Ahí hemos estudiado todas. Debes de ser blanca, sí. No me lo he pasado yo bien ahí. Uf, no. Pero bueno. Sí, porque yo venía de un colegio muy estricto. Venía de un colegio que era de, de chicas. How long is the drive? Uh, it's about an hour to get out there, yeah. Okay. It's a beautiful countryside. Shut up. Because we go through there, we have to penetrate the, the mountains that you saw. Yeah. It's just the other side of the mountains. Good.